All right, so I'm going to do a quick training on how to make tabs in your wiki page. So um, the first thing that you got to do, and it kind of is a bummer, but uh, tabs are only available in the markdown editor. So the first thing you need to do if you're using the visual editor and you want tabs, you need to click up here in the top right corner and you need to convert. Mine's already on the markdown, but you may be on visual or HTML. Um, the easiest way to get tabs is, is through the Markdown Editor, so you want to pick that one. And then once you're in the Markdown Editor, it's going to look a little different. It's kind of what I got on my left uh, left side of my screen over here. So what you're going to need to do is, so we've can you know, step one, we've converted to the Markdown Editor. Then step two, you're going to create your tab set header. So what that is, is the tabs how to in this example. So it's going to be kind of the name of your tabs, just your, your regular header. So um, to create that, you want to create a header. Um, in my example here, it's header number one. And you can tell it's header number one by the pound sign designation. So, um, or hashtag, whatever you want to call it. Hashtag tabs will be my header name. Um, once you've done that, you go to step three here. And what you want to do now is to tell the wiki that you want the following headers to be in a tab set. So for that, you need to do header number two. So I've got pound, pound, tab, followed by the tab set in these kind of brackets here. So um, the, the tab isn't doing anything until you add the tab set. Then it tells the wiki that the following headers are going to be to your tab. So after that, you go to step four and you create your tab names. In this example, um, for the training I have set up here, I'm doing step one, step two, step three, step four. And all of those need to be subheaders of the tab header. So um, again, the tab on the left side of the screen here is pound, pound, tab. So your next header step needs to be header number three. So three pound signs, step one. And then below that, you don't need any pound signs or anything. It's essentially just a paragraph. So you're just writing the content of step one underneath there. And then you'll go through and do the same thing for step two, step three, and step four. Um, so all of those are kind of the, the easy steps. And then the last thing you want to do is if you want to end your tab um, or end the, end the tab set and then add more content below, you'll need to do the same he uh, header designation that opened the tab set. So in this example, we got hashtag, hashtag tab, and then down here, same thing, uh, hashtag, hashtag next section. So hopefully that made sense, um, kind of more complicated than it needs to be. Hopefully Wiki updates that and we can just use the visual editor. And then lastly, if my explanation wasn't good. Um, I've written out the steps on my personal wiki. So if you just search Jake's wiki up here, you should be able to find it. And lastly, if you read through the tabs, you're still having some confusion. I made a step five and all you need to do for step five, this one's for the cheaters. Um, you just need to convert your page to the markdown. Um, you'll copy and paste all of this into the Markdown editor. So I'll do it here as, a, as an example. So take that underneath the next section. I'm gonna paste that and I'll go ahead and remove all of the parentheses. And all right. So if I were to save this on the left-hand side, I should have just made a new tab set. So let's close this. Let's see what it looks like. Perfect. So we got the new tab set here. Um, you can see I gave it a header name, tab two, tab three, tab four, tab five, tab six. So if you, um, you want to just kind of make a template or use a template that's ready to go, you can just copy and paste that into your Markdown editor. I'm going to go back to the edit page just to show you a couple things if you do go that route um, I, I try to put a rename next to everything that would be your content so you make your tab header whatever you want to call it 
and then uh, tab one, tab two, whatever you want to call those. And then below, I didn't want to put rename on these. I think it's, it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, the content of those tabs would go there. And then lastly, tab six just says copy and paste tabs one through six if you need more. So if I wanted to add another six tabs, I could copy that and I'll paste it underneath. And we'll save that. And I should have just added six more tabs to that specific tab set. And we did. We have one through six and then one through six again. So that's how you can add tabs to your wiki page. Thanks.